Howdy, howdy, all y'all. It's time for cake. I decided I was going to try something a little bit different here. I, I don't know, I just wasn't in quite the mood to work on some of my current mod packs, and that's how we get into trouble. Y'all know how it is. So I just started randomly going through some of the mod packs on Curse Forge, looking for things that looked interesting. And what I found was this thing called Sky Mist, and what caught my eye was the world generation and uh, it's a little bit hairy I gotta tell you look at this uh, it looks kinda rough and you can see I got some interesting things in my starting inventory I've got uh, I've got Tinker's Construct book, five oak saplings, a water bucket a book called Not Dead Yet, Sky Mist Not Dead Yet I have lemonade I have a jet pack and an RF Tools Dimension Manual. Now, if I understand correctly what I'm looking at here, um, okay, we got some iron ore berry bushes, and they are right on the scary, hairy edge. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave them alone for the time being. Actually, you know what? I, th I, think I, I think I can harvest them, harvest the berries, I mean, without getting in trouble, maybe. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Free iron. I'm good with that. Not much free iron, but yeah, it's a start. Um, you know, that one, I can't get it the one under it. Okay, let's do that, and let's put you here. That ain't gonna work. Okay, I can't put it down. Um, that wasn't so smart after all. All right, well, okay, so we got Pam's in here, because here's a Pam's grass garden. And here's some iron gravel. Wow. Can I put this thing on top of gravel? No. Nope. Okay. Can't mine the gravel none. There's a couple small trees. I'm like on the edge of a zone here, it looks like. This is river. This is roofed forest. Oh, man. I got cows. Okay, that's cool. I got to turn the music down. That's what I got to do. Let me go through. You can tell I just started here because nothing is set up right. And so I am drowning in noise. Let's see. Nah, I don't want that too low. I don't want to get crept up on. So, uh, yeah, apparently this is kind of like, um, I mean, it's got a thing in it that's kind of like Mistcraft where you can build your own world, except it's using a tech instead of a magic kind of a thing. And, um, it's, uh, so I'm kind of thinking it's a little bit like, uh, I don't know, um, it's a little bit like maybe Magic Farm, because I see we got Tycon, and I don't know if y'all ever played Jaded Cat's Magic Farm, it's fun. And part of the goal there was to use Mistcraft to generate other kinds of uh, places. So you could go in and, and get your stuff that way. Now I've got a very few... Um, wow, not getting a lot of seeds here. Hello, taters. Um, I got a very, very few um, trees here. And I've got... Okay, there's carrot seed. I've got absolutely no way to recharge my jetpack until I get my tech running. So that's an issue right there. Um, so let's see. For starters, I think I'm not going to use my jetpack just yet to go to another island. And part of the reason for that is that this is such a tiny island that I feel like, you know, I could... I could light this all up. I could make this relatively safe. And, um, so I'm going to start by doing that. And then I'm going to come back and maybe head over, I don't know, grab some dark oak, uh, look around some more, um, see what my options are, you know? But for the time being, since I know Pam's is in here, and... 
and I saw on that lemonade that I can only drink it six more times before hunger sets in, I know that I got a thing where um, I have to have different kind of foods. And I can't remember the name of the mod that does that. It's uh, We had that in Crash Landing, and uh, no, I don't think we had that in Ag Skies, but we had it in Crash Landing. And um, that means I really need to get some some kind of a thing going here. Now I know we got Abcraft, and I know we got a ton of tech mods I have never ever played with, so this is going to be exciting for me as I have to figure out how stuff like that works, because I've never done a lot of these things. Um, I, I have to be honest, you know, my, my mod packing kind of started with Agrarian Skies number one, and I never got too far into that. Never got that far into Ag Skies number two, frankly. Um, let's see. I, I'd better get. Let me get some trees down. And um, yeah, it looks right. And having done that now, I can feel a little more confident about going over here. Confident as you can be this close to the edge, I suppose. And busting up this tree, get myself some tool fixings. And uh, from there, oh, oh, we got fast leaf decay going down. Okay, good. We got some saplings. That's a good thing. All right, I got some iron gravel there. I know Tinker's Construct is loaded. So I got some oak saplings, I got some birch saplings, and I have a very tiny amount of wood here to start with. And that, that kind of makes it a challenge. Now I could go, I could go use my jetpack, I could go over, whoa, I am really on the edge here. I want to move just in case something goes wrong. Not be quite centered on that block. There we go. Okay, I got copper gravel ore. One whole block of copper gravel ore. Wow. So let's see here. Uh, I want to get my I want to get my birch down. Put you there. Put you there. Yeah, okay. You go there. Okay, so that takes care of all the tree planting. Um, so the next thing is I got a water block. Not a water block, I got a bucket. There we go, now I've got a water block. And let's get started the usual old fashioned way, folks. You've seen it before, you'll see it again. All right, Tinker's Construct is working, so let's do that. And hunger is up, so I need stair steps so I don't constantly run around. Um, let's see, take two of them. Yeah, do that, do that. And the first thing I'm going to do is get my farming kind of going because, like I said, hunger might be an issue here. Okay, how's the sun? Ah, oh, the sun ain't making me too happy. Now, if I stay near the middle of this, I don't think I'm going to get too many mobs. I hope I don't get too many mobs because I've got one dirt block to my name right now. Let's put down all our tater seeds. Now I know we got agricraft in this, so I know that I'm going to have to make these seeds better pretty soon. But for a starting out point, you know, um, I got taters, I got wheat, and those should be able to sustain me for a reasonable bit. What else have I got? I got cotton seeds. That'll give me some string and carrots and barley and rye and asparagus okay so I'm gonna put one carrot down there and now 
now I'm going to make myself a pick and we need to figure some way to get some more blocks I'm going to try to get underground without getting too far underground if y'all see quite what I'm saying uh, let's see three four so let's start mining here and let's just dig in and see what we get and obviously in this pack mining straight down is going to be a hazard so I don't want to do that if I can avoid it Oops. aha we have stone we have one whole block let's see what that gets us you know I'm gonna go pick up before it gets too dark I'm gonna go pick up my crafting station so I don't have to rebuild the dang thing now I'm sure I'm gonna come up and find the cows have jumped all over my daisies but what can you do um, for the time being I'm gonna block this off and I'm gonna kinda take note of the time and for a few seconds here things are gonna be dark and I do apologize for that I don't know how well you can see I cannot see terrible well at all but I'm gonna need to make myself a furnace so I need at least nine stone blocks I got eight there we go that'll give me plenty more uh, let's put down my crafting table here let's get our furnace going on here and we'll make us some torches oh I hear a spider upstairs it was a good idea for me to come down here um, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my birch for this just cuz I don't know in some mod packs birch gets you a little extra coal when you burn it so we'll see if that happens here or not and the answer is no it does not okay well time being I got one coal I don't want to waste a lot of coal so I'm just gonna use that up I'm gonna make four torches we aren't gonna dig too terrible far and um, this will give us something we can work with okay so this is our starting location and I want to actually I want to go deeper than this because right now a creeper could theoretically blow my roof off so let's go down so we got some stone overhead and I know in most packs I would be trying to get myself a uh, better pick by now but because my resources are so low I mean I don't even really want to get into setting up my tinker tables just yet okay there's some marble that's nice and all I'm, I'm gonna see how far down the rabbit hole goes that's what I'm gonna do so right now we're just going diagonal down until we find the bottom because I, I want some idea of how deep I can dig because I certainly don't want to fall out of the world now one of the things about the wah there it is that is the bottom okay congratulations you have hit rock bottom uh, I was gonna say I certainly don't want to fall out of the world now I have seen um, I have seen let's fill that in let's go this way I had to make two worlds uh, before I started this one and it actually says on the start screen in the menu it says you know you may have a spawn point where you're in midair over the void and you just fall and um, I didn't realize I had the backpack on the first one, so I just fell and on the second one I realized I had the uh, jetpack but I I don't know I just kinda I kind of mentally went, well, look, it's X far to that island over there. I'm going to burn my entire jetpack just starting out here because I spawned over the void. So this is world number three. And on world number three, I actually spawned over something resembling solid ground. Speaking of solid ground, y'all can see that over that way is uh, some non-solid ground. So let me come back up here and now I've got some stone I'll make a better pick things will go a little bit quicker a little more smoothly and very short order I mean my hope is that I'm gonna go upstairs when the night is over 
and I'm going to see that some trees have sprouted and I'm not going to be quite so whoa, nervous about uh, my, my wood situation at that point. Let's put you here. Let's put a torch on you to let me know there's a problem over there. How's my... Yeah, mobs can spawn there. I ain't sure I like that so much. Let's put you here. Put you there. And move you down to here. Trying to make the most out of four torches. <laughs> okay, let's try going this direction. Now, since I know I got Tycon, one of the things I'm looking for that I didn't see on this island, and I may just have to give up. I may have to go to one of the other islands to get what I need. Hello. That didn't take... Whoa! That didn't take much at all. Um, I may just have to bite the bullet and go to one of the other islands simply to get myself some... Um, some, you know, gravel and sand and all those happy little things that you need when you're going to make your smeltery in Tycon. So that's, uh, that's a real big thing. Um, oh, hey, there's some gravel. Okay, so at least I know I've got gravel. And there's the edge of the world again. Is that Norberry Bush? That's Norberry Bush. Wonder if I can get that puppy. Oh, I can't. Hmm, there's one under it. That's going to be trickier. Let's. Whoops. Darn it, I just lost the berries. Okay, uh, I think I can break it by hand. Yeah, and it hurts a bit. Uh, let's break you. Hey, there's a block under it. Okay, we can do this. Let's see. Take that out. I should read that, you know. It's probably something useful. Okay. And let's take the berries off you. There's a block under that. Oh, there's gravel. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to pick up that marble, I hope. No, not so much. Okay. So, at this point, I've got copper ore berry bushes, which is nice. And I've got eight gravel, which is a start. It's not great. And one advantage to this kind of thing is that I can certainly see at this point well, that it's still not day out. So, that's sort of nice. On the other hand, I can tell I'm going to need to put one of my torches here because if I don't then I'm gonna have mobs you know it's gonna happen you know it's gonna happen Murphy says so okay so let's see I've got gravel I've got 18 gravel it's not a bad start but I'm gonna need to get myself some sand Okay, there's the sun coming up. I see some dark oak over there. And some water source blocks. And I think that's some aluminum ore berry bushes. And some copper ore berry bushes. There's a lot of ore berry bushes, but they seem to mostly be on the underside of things. And I suppose that makes some degree of sense. It makes things a little more difficult. I gotta say, this world gen is something else. I really do like the floating island look. Okay, I've got myself a little bit of flint. Now that's a real good thing because that means I can get right into making some of the simpler Tycon stuff that is not going to require me to have a smeltery up and running. Howsomever, oh what are you, phosphorite ore? requires an iron pickaxe. Okay, we got Metallurgy, which is a mod that is new to me. And I think I'm going to have to move my torch a little bit. Okay, it's light enough out that I'm hearing a skeleton who is having a bad day. 
in a little while I'm going to want to go upstairs just to collect bones and stuff because given how tiny this island I'm starting on is that I can see where that's going to be a resource kind of an issue okay so I'm going to come down here break my torch let's put you here and that pretty much covers everything get myself a tiny bit more ore or not ore, gravel, excuse me I know what I'm trying to do, I just can't say it okay so I've got 55 gravel, 4 copper ore berry bushes 8 copper ore berries, some iron ore berries I should see if I can extract those iron bushes at some point can't really pick that up let's see what we got going up here actually before I do that let's see now nah I still don't have enough wood to really get rolling well need one of them one of them I'd have to use the crafting table for the other thing uh, I better get another tree I better just get another tree what have I got weapon wise? Plus three attack damage. Boy, that's puny. Hi, Mr. Spider. Let's talk. Yeah, it's cheap. It's cheap, I know. Okay. And we've got a tree. Hooray, us. We've got a tree. And I've got a creeper. Hi, Mr. Creeper. And another creeper. Oh, shoot. That was my crops, wasn't it? And a witch? Oh, this is not so hot. Hey, Mr. Witch. Okay, you. You and me. You, me, and the edge. How's that, buddy? Yeah, that, that'll show you. Oh, wow. Look at that. I was just congratulating myself that I had... I think I saw a sprouted potato earlier. And now I've got kind of a mess. Oh, okay, I still have a sprouted potato. I got some more trees. I mean, things could be a lot worse. This is not so bad. This is negotiable. I just destroyed my water block. Okay, well, I guess that answers the question of are we going to visit the neighbors because without a water block... I'm gonna starve. I'm not gonna be able to get some crops going. There's a whole lot of things I'm not gonna be able to do. Oh dear me. Dear me, dear me, dear me. Okay, let's get your taters up here. Okay, I can't right click them. That didn't work. So I can plant them. They won't grow as fast. Okay, that's that. Where's all my dirt? Let's get this sorted out a little bit here. Um, because... Because resources are kind of a thing, um, I'm on a checkerboard this in three dimensions so that nothing can spawn in it. But I won't use up as much dirt as it would if I, you know, whoops, that should have stayed there. It won't use up as much dirt as if I filled the whole thing in perfect like. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there. Um, whoops. Okay. Um, you go there. Well, this part's all going to get filled in. I know that. Okay. So I don't want a creeper spawning in underneath everything. Black. Because that would be upsetting, to say the least. Okay, that's all the dirt I got. Wow. Hmm. And here I was trying to be conservative and stuff. Okay, we'll put you there, and I'll come back and clean that up another time again. Well, here. 
Now I have to not lose too much sight of what I'm doing because I'm going to starve if I'm not careful. So I shouldn't be jumping around if I can avoid it. Let's close all that up. One, two, three, four. So my water block is going to go there. Okay. Yeah, wow. Such fun. Such fun. Let's see. I thought I saw a garden over here. Did I already pick it? I must already picked it. I got some asparagus. Let's eat that. Oh, man. Where's my lemonade? There we go. Oh, hey, look at that. Okay, that'll get me up enough to heal. Now, let's look at mini-map. Let's see if we can find some water. Okay, there's water right over here, and I'm definitely going to need to jetpack to get there. So that is now my priority. That is this way. And that looks like it's a swamp biome. And I'm going to get over here because that looks to be the closest approach. I don't want to burn all my jetpack fuel, you know. Let's put that on. And what's our engine on? Hover? Okay, it's working. Good. All right. Here we go. All right, there we are. You take that off so I don't burn fuel every time I jump up a block. Oh, there's some sheepies. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Uh, now, how many are there? Okay, and there's a textile block. I hear a slime. Slime is good. Where are you, slime? You are this way? You must be underground, slime. Okay, but that's still... No, I see a slime. Look at that. Two slimes. Okay, that's cool. I can beat slimes up without needing any kind of real, you know serious weaponry because little ones don't really do much to you and the big ones ain't too quick okay come on buddy there we go let's see Okay, and now we kill all the little fellas, and now I've got slime balls for all the recipes that might need them. Sweet! Okay, eyes on the prize. I came here to get water, and the water is straight ahead of me. I'm going to grab these things here so I've got some eating. i uh, got to be careful. I hear another slime. Okay, he's underground. Well, the cool thing is that this is a slime block. I know now that I can come here to get some. I just ran past my water. What am I thinking? Okay, there's a lily pad. That's nice. My inventory is full. What don't I need? I don't really need blue orchids. Okay. Mm. It's not going to help none. Bucket, 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 bucket. Okay, we got water. And the sun is starting to go down. My timing is not too bad. Um, I need to come over this way a bit. I want to be as close as I can to burn minimal jetpack fuel. Put my jetpack on. That didn't use very much, really. Okay, home again, home again. And we got a little bit of time. Up, oh, burning fuel, burning fuel. We got a little bit of time before um, the sun goes down. So I'm going to punch a couple more trees so I can 
work on the Tycon tonight. Now it's, we're 30 minutes in. And so what I'm going to do is basically just chop down this tree and we're going to go underground and I'm going to get my Tinker's Construct started out and then I'm going to call that a wrap. Haven't really learned much, haven't done anything new and exciting and unusual. Okay, I know, I understand that. Uh, actually, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this book. So let's put that tree down, two, three, four, five, pick up you, uh, come on over here, hi Mr. Cow. I need to make a chest real quick here. For the moment, all I'm doing is making room so I can go pick up that stuff that just dropped because I want my apple. And that's because I know if Pam's Harvest Craft is live, now I can make an apple tree. Okay. Taters are growing. Got my apple. Let's go ahead and I'm going to take a marble block, close that up, and I'm going to put some stuff down in here real well. Let's keep you out. Put the apples away. Let's move the food and the consumables like that that we can't quite use just this second out of our inventory. Okay. No purpose for straying. All right. Let's take a couple quick look at some books real Oops, wrong way. Okay, Materials and You, that's the standard Tinker's Construct book. I'm not going to mess with it. In fact, I'm not going to do the Tinker's Construct on camera because I'm sure most of y'all have seen it before. But I want to look at this book. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is looking pretty complex. This is how they do the miscraft thing. That's 45 pages. I know y'all are going to be able to screenshot this and pause it and I'm not and I don't want it to be too terribly boring so I'm not reading it all out loud but from what I'm seeing here in a fast scan I kill Endermen to get dimlets and I use dimlets to make dimension things they're kind of like the pages were in Mistcraft I suppose um, so there's different dimlets give different characteristics to your world like that's a peaceful one so no hostile mobs um, Okay, Dimlet Researcher. Yeah, this is going to take some doing here. Let's see. I don't even know what that is. Dimlet Template. Dimensional Shards. Okay, yeah. A lot of paper and redstone. Yeah, that's not early game. So let's put that away. Whoa, that was like diamonds and stuff. Totally not early game. So let's put you away for now. Let's look at our other book, Not Dead Yet. What a wonderful title. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, my goodness. Aren't we cute? Okay. E stows, e stow. Yay. Mold is yucky. All right. Machines never work right. That's. I hope that's not a warning. Uh, cake. You won't find any diamonds, gold, or redstone here in this world find clay that's good okay we can hopefully get some uh, get our tinkers construct smeltery on okay have to go to the nether to get diamonds redstone and gold that's good to know of course you need an obsidian to get the portal hardly any lava here hmm whoa look at that okay it's like the overworld but lava instead of water and obsidian instead of stone and we need to place a block of steel down and right click it with a steel pick okay we can probably do that we can probably do that what else have we got here RF tools can make worlds yeah alright figured that out um, RF tools worlds uses machines make an enderman spawner because we need drops from endermen okay recipes 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 Okay, so this is the recipe for making a replacement overworld. The way that things are naturally, I guess, in the Minecraft overworld. That's interesting looking. So these are, I guess, all the different dimlets we need. 
Uh, training. Yeah, it is a blast. I kind of like this. We got all these little random sky islands. It's very much like an old um, uh, Roger Dean picture from some of the early album covers from like Yes, where you got all these sky islands floating in the void and stuff. Okay. All right. Well, that seems to be everything. It's only 12 pages. Okay, folks. It's a little crowded down here. Um, we have a beginning, and I'm just going to wave goodbye and say thank you for stopping by, and I don't know, uh, let me know, should I make a Let's Play out of this, does it look interesting to you all, or should I kind of stick with what I'm doing, I'm not going to give up what I'm doing, I mean, I just, this would be an every now and again, let's try something a little different, because it looks like this is primarily full of tech mods, no magic mods, so, uh, hey, let me know, throw me a vote, throw me a comment, tell me what you think. Y'all have a good one. Tell the Surgeon General, cake is good for you.